The Holtzman effect is a fictional scientific phenomenon in the Dune universe created by Frank Herbert, beginning with the 1965 novel Dune. The effect is never explained in detail, but it makes among other things, defensive force shields and instantaneous space travel possible. Frank Herbert was inconsistent with the spelling of Holtzman, resulting in the variant spellings Holtzman, 1976's Children of Dune and Holzman. 1985's Chapterhouse, June. This may be intentional, as Herbert mutated other words and names over the several millennia the June series spans, such as the change of Arakis to Rakis and Caladan to Dan. Beginning with Heretics of June 1984, according to the Legends of June prequel trilogy by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson 2002 the Holtzman effect is named after the scientist who discovered it, T.O. Holtzman though for many of its applications, Holtzman in fact takes credit for the mathematical theories of his assistant, Norma Senver. Holtzman devices. Topic. Holtzman shield In Terminology of the Imperium, the glossary of the novel Dune, Frank Herbert provides the following definition Shield defensive, the protective field produced by a Holtzman generator. This field derives from phase 1 of the suspensor nullification effect. A shield will permit entry only to objects moving at slow speeds depending on setting, this speed ranges from 6 to 9 cm per second and can be shorted out only by a shire-sized electric field. In June, the technology has been adapted for reliable use in personal defensive shields which permit penetration only by objects that move below a preset velocity. Paul Atrides notes in June, In shield fighting, one moves fast on defense, slow on attack. Attack has the sole purpose of tricking the opponent into a misstep, setting him up for the attack sinister. The shield turns the fast blow, admits the slow kindle. It is further noted in the same chapter that the field forms a defensive bubble about the body. There are even half shields that do not entirely cover the body. A five-layered shield-generated field called a pentashield can be used to protect small areas like doorways, but larger versions become increasingly unstable as layers are added. A pentashield is virtually impassable to anyone not wearing a dissembler tuned to the shield codes. The interaction of Alaskan beam and a Holtzman field results in subatomic fusion and a nuclear explosion. The magnitude of this blast is unpredictable, sometimes it destroys only the shielded target and gunner, sometimes the explosion is more powerful than atomics. Using LAS guns in a shielded environment can result in military and environmental catastrophe, though at one point in June Duncan Idaho deliberately allows shield LAS gun contact as a discouragement to his enemies. In God Emperor of June 1981, the God Emperor Leto II notes 3,500 years into his reign that Shields are banned throughout the Empire, and it is a capital offense to possess one. To avoid such explosive interactions, the vibrations of an active shield will drive a sandworm on Arakis into a killing frenzy, drawing them from across territorial lines to attack the shield. For this reason, the native Freemen eschew them. It is noted in Children of Dune that the Freemen have developed a small shield generator known as a pseudo shield to attract and madden a worm, for use as an airsatz bomb. Topic. Holtzman drive The effect is used in this case to fold space at the quantum level, allowing the Spacing Guild's highliner ships to instantaneously travel far distances across space without actually moving at all. However, the chaotic and seemingly non-deterministic quantum nature of fold space requires at least limited prescience on the part of the human navigator, otherwise the absurdly complex mathematics involved in producing reliable physical projections of such events would only be possible with advanced computers, which are strictly prohibited because of mankind's crusade against thinking machines, the Butlerian Jihad. To this effect, the guild producers may launch saturated navigators who intuitively see paths through fold space. In this way, this stumbling block is overcome several thousand years after the events of June when Ixian scientists develop mechanical replacements for guild navigators. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Suspensors. Hovering devices called suspensors utilize the secondary low drain phase of a Holtzmann field generator to nullify gravity within certain limits prescribed by relative mass and energy consumption. Suspensors are used in chairs, tables, and structures that are too massive to be physically sound, among many other obvious uses. In June, the grotesquely obese Baron Vladimir Harkonnen utilizes suspensor belts and harnesses to buoy his flesh and allow him to walk. In June, Jessica theorizes that suspensors, like shields, attract sandworms, and while some are seen in Freeman CH communities, none are active in the deep desert. Glow globes A varied use of the Holtzmann effect is the glow globe. This device is a small glowing sphere that floats gracefully above a surface like a portable, personal sun, since it is typically tuned to a yellowish color. Herbert's description in the glossary of June reads, GLOWGLOBE, suspensor buoyed illuminating device, self-powered usually by organic batteries. Topic: The June Encyclopedia. The non-canon June Encyclopedia 1984 by Willis E. McNally invents an extensive, alternate origin and description of the Holtzmann effect. In this version, it is discovered by Ibrahim von Holtzmann born 7593 BG. Young Holtzmann was nearly killed in a tragic accident in a racing thopter. He became the first of very few persons to undergo a brain transplant. His brain was placed in a prototype Axlotter tank and wired into a large host computer with an unprogrammed personality blank, on the assumption that Holtzmann would imprint his own personality on the machine. The process was marred by an induced psychosis. Afterwards, Holtzmann suffered from intense paranoia and refused treatment. Since Holtzmann's was the first brain transplant ever performed, the extent of his powers was not fully understood. The son of the planetary governor of Liesko II, Holtzmann has a specialized ship constructed and escapes into space to think. His mathematical genius is enhanced by the exponentially increased mental processing made possible by his new computerized form which also allows him to exist for nearly 7,500 years. He focuses on analyzing the suspensor nullification effect, which as Frank Herbert established, makes interstellar travel possible. According to the encyclopedia, this effect had been discovered 5,400 years earlier but is not fully understood. Holtzmann's first related discovery is an instantaneous interstellar communication device, later called the Holtzmann wave. Until this point, interstellar travel had affected a widespread population of the universe which could no longer be controlled by the Imperial House series. The development of Holtzmann wave generators gives mankind the means to easily communicate across vast distances and results in the long and ferocious wars of reunification. Holtzmann himself remains in seclusion, returning to civilization five times. On his third return, over 2,000 years after his original escape, he gives humanity his next related discovery, defensive shields. On his fourth return millennia later, Holtzmann published his unified theory, linking the various effects into a single hierarchy of phenomena. The last intelligent machine left in existence after the Butlerian Jihad, he is apparently destroyed in 108 BG. Knowing his ship is booby-trapped with a dormant laser aimed at a defensive shield, the Jihad fleet send a volunteer to board the ship, thereby setting off the explosion which results from shield laser interaction. According to the encyclopedia, the three-dimensional suspensor nullification effect is discovered thousands of years before Holtzmann explored the associated phenomena. His name is eventually applied to all manifestations of the Holtzmann effect. Topic. Legends of June The Brian Herbert, Kevin J. Anderson Legends of June prequel trilogy 2002 establishes that the Holtzmann effect is discovered by—and named after—scientist and inventor Theo Holtzmann immediately prior to the Butlerian Jihad, some 10,000 years before the events of June. The technology is employed for defensive force fields capable of scrambling the gel circuitry of thinking machines, the force of sentient computers and robots who seek to enslave and exterminate mankind. 
Networks of towers generating the field from the surface protect entire planets from machine attacks. Residing on the planet Poritron, Holtzman's career is on the wane, as he has not invented anything significant in several years. He comes across the work of Norma Senva, a woman from Rossack. Realizing her genius, he invites her to come work with him on Poritron. The machines soon realize that their Comex human machine hybrids can slip through the planetary force fields to destroy the transmitters because they possess human brains, which are unaffected by the scrambler fields. Senva has the idea to use the field as an offensive weapon, projecting it with portable transmitters to knock out machines and their installations. Holtzman later calculates that the field can be modified to prevent penetration from physical projectiles. Senva agrees, correcting the flaws in his concept but noting that objects can still pass through the shield at a slow enough speed. The human forces start installing these new shields on their battleships and most ground forces. However, as it is still a new technology at the time, the shields tend to overheat with too much use and deactivate. As time passes, Holtzman discovers that the young dwarfish woman is much more creative than he, and after being upstaged by her twice, begins to dislike her. Eventually he takes credit for Senva's mathematical theories, which led to many practical uses for Holtzman's original discovery, including the Holtzman drive, Holtzman shields, suspensors and glow globes. Senva is also credited with the realization that hitting a Holtzman field with a Laskin beam results in a large and unpredictable explosion. Her theory is proven in the 2003 novel Dune, The Machine Crusade, when Holtzman himself is killed by the explosion from such an interaction during a slave uprising on Poritron. The Legends of Dune series also establishes that Senva invents the theory of space folding in 177 BG during the Butlerian Jihad after years of working on Holtzman's original field equations. By 174 BG she had built a prototype space folding ship, and soon she and industrialist Aurelius Venport establish a shipyard on the planet Kolhar to produce what would eventually be called highliners. Within a decade, Venport puts the space folding technology and shipyards at the disposal of the Jihad forces. Initially, fold space travel is not completely accurate or safe, only about 9 out of every 10 highliners make it to their final destination. Realizing that the Spice May launch amplifies her psychic and calculative abilities, Norma pioneers the use of massive concentrated doses to presciently perceive space, time. In 88 BG she discovers that this is the way to safely navigate fold space, and essentially becomes the first navigator. That same year, Norma's son Adrian Venport founds the Foldspace Shipping Company, which later becomes the Spacing Guild and eventually monopolizes space commerce, transport and interplanetary banking. Senva's name is eventually forgotten by history, but she is more interested in improving defensive shields and developing fold space travel to make it safer and more efficient. Her efforts help humanity defeat the thinking machines. <laughs> Prelude to June In 1999's Dune, House Atrides the first novel of the Prelude to Dune prequel trilogy by Brian Herbert and Anderson, the following is stated via epigraph Theo Holtzman was one of the most productive Ixian inventors on record. He often went on creative binges, locking himself up for months on end so that he could work without interruption. Sometimes upon emerging he required hospitalization, and there were constant concerns over his sanity and well-being. Holtzman died young, barely past 30 standard years, but the results of his efforts changed the galaxy forever. Biographical capsules, an imperial film book.